that hard. women don't need men. And right now, when women are married to men, they're losing out. Marriage benefits you guys. It doesn't benefit women. Don't like. Oh, I, she's delusional. She is delusional. Hello, America, FBI and CIA agents and fellow cult members. Welcome to another episode of OnlyFans on Trial. Now, today's episode was sent to me via special request by Drew. So here you are, Drew. All right. And today's episode is on dive bar psychologist Torsha on another rant about life relationships and her feminist take on the red pill through the eyes of a woman who will continue to find herself on the early morning walk of shame through the lobbies of any Holiday Inn, Marriott, or Motel 6 in any town USA. Now, in this video, which is already in progress, Torsha is already battling it out with three different guests. Let's dive into it. We're going to go back to, yeah, if you enjoy eating and you can't magic woman nature your, your cells to just heal themselves, yeah. uh, it will be back to necessity that this luxury of, you know, whims and flights of fancy mm -hmm. is a luxury good that people won't be able to afford anymore. They're going to have to be together for necessity mm -hmm. again. So Sean saying yeah. the economy. Wait, he, he, he's right. He's right. He's got a point. He, he's talking about like uh, in, in the movie, um, I forget, it's like an old movie from the 20s um, where women, you know, back in the Depression would go on dates for dinner because they had no food, they had no money. So they would go on dates just to eat. That's what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. again. So Sean saying yeah. the economy, we're doomed. So like, we're yeah, probably going to, really I'm not, really I'm not, yeah. I'm not, not trying really to, you can, you can change it when I'm done. Okay. He's saying where our economy is doomed. So uh, when men and women are going to end up needing each other, women specifically, because like right now they don't really, but they're going to inevitably, if we go in that direction, something like that. Is that what you're saying? Something like that. It'll be, it'll be more directly apparent. I, yeah, <laughs> yes. You okay. know, I still argue that it's just separated by de by degrees. Yeah. I don't think that necessity has ever gone away. It, it's just uh, obscured yes. by, by how complex the economy is. I'm talking, when I say women oh. in necessity, I'm talking about in the home, like couple. No, I know. I know what yeah. you're talking and, about. Um, I think yeah, some men do be going to be able to get it by themselves. But the thing is that we want that other person to help us with it. Because if you women struggle with it and you guys are like, okay, I'm a strong, independent woman. You, you guys can do everything. Like we can also do it. Right. We can also do it. Like I can be able it's to so do it. <laughs> but it's always how we can help you. But do you see how that's, I can't no, like wake can, up to that. We can also help you guys. Like with what? I don't know. You, with, I understand obviously, what you're saying, Tasha. Do things around the home. Like, no, what? No, 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 no. So I, I, I've, <sighs> called her Tasha. Uh, first of all, what does she mean? What what does she mean? So if you're if you're a housewife and you're home taking care of kids and cleaning and doing all the other things that she says, right? What is the man doing? He's working. He's paying the bills. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Stressing me like, out so much that you guys haven't given me one thing that well, men Tori bring to wants, the table. Tori's arguing that women want uh like emotional connection and emotional. No, they want you to understand that they have that you're thankful for the shit they do. They because right now you guys operate like entitled fucks. Okay, I'm triggered. I'm triggered. Her mouth. Her mouth. She's always triggered. I think, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go back. Today. Sorry. I'll shut up. <laughs> I don't think. Okay, maybe some men down, bitch. <laughs> are entitled to certain things and they take it for granted. Yes. But there's some of us that are like actually thankful. Like, hey, thank you for. Is he naked? Look at these guests she has on. This is in interesting. <laughs> She's got a naked man on here. Okay. We're doing my meal today. Thank you for cleaning the house. Like, I know I didn't see this yesterday, whatever. Some of us have been taught and brought up to be thankful for if you have a partner and you have a girlfriend, but what you have do a you wife, provide whatever. On top of it, because right now she can't handle all of it. It's like a ticking time bomb. Okay, you so guys then you talk to her and you tell her, like, listen, what's wrong today? Like, we can you sit down and care. talk. 
But when she tells you that she can't handle the dishes, you guys do a dish once, uh, hypothetically. If you're a housewife, what is so? What is the big deal? When do we get to this point where men need three maids, twelve uh, nannies, and you know a, a, a wardrobe coordinator? Uh, I mean, this is nuts. It's human nature. This is women's nature. Women are nurturers. Men provide. Okay. Men hunt. Women take care of the house, the children, the family. Hello. You do one dish and then and then that's it. You expect to get fucking laid betas more specifically. But my issue is that women keep telling you that we need more. We need help. And you're not giving it to them. And then you guys also lack a commitment or whatever. And so they end up divorcing you. There's many reasons. But it's like I don't think men actually believe that women are having a horrible time. Like it's not even that they're hold on. It's not even mm. that they're on like they're not happy okay. sometimes. I'm talking they want to kill themselves. But they I, just I have still, people to take care of. I still think this comes from a place of the. Oh my gosh, she just said they want to kill themselves. I think she's talking about herself right now. Even though she's never experienced being a housewife or a mother or any of that. I mean, I don't think she has kids. I'm, I'm pretty sure she doesn't. But um, she is a tormented soul. Hedonic treadmill. Mm -hmm. of um because all your physiological needs are met now you're bored or need to be entertained i'm not saying that or i'm not saying that did you hear what i said at the end were you just trying to respond i'm saying women want to kill themselves it has nothing to do i even caveated well, and where did she get these like statistics that women women want to kill themselves i don't know any woman that wants to kill themselves none of my friends want to kill themselves they're actually really happy. Uh, one of my friends just had another kid. I mean, I don't want to kill myself. Where does she get? She's like always talking about herself. You notice that? Oh, said, why? But I said happiness fleeting. I said that didn't matter. I'm saying women want to kill themselves because they cannot handle it. And when they try to get help, you guys say that it doesn't exist because well, you they, only they can't see handle it. life on easy mode. But you're not. You guys have zero <laughs> empathy with love. Okay, don't get mad. Zero empathy to see her side because your love is to get your needs met. It's like survival of the fittest. You cannot conceptualize what hers is, and that's what my issue is. Is saying that if we can never get men to get it, because even in the books, the men can't so, get it when they talk. Of, hold on. It, let me finish. When they talk about this dynamic, like they don't say men. But if you embody narcissism, they will never understand anybody else other than themselves. So what I'm saying is that how can we get men to see it, but also make their own decision if they want to even fix it? You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying do it women's way. I'm saying you need to understand where women are even coming from, because I 100 percent none of you well, do it, right now. Yeah. That, is, that was the ramble of all rambles that made absolutely zero sense. I don't know what she's talking about right now. She makes no sense. It, it would mm. be help to it, it would help to have you explain why you feel so drained in mm -hmm. a period of such abundance. Okay. Wow, that's, did you hear what he said? It would help if he could understand why Torsha feels so drained in a period of such abundance. I mean, think about it. We have, ev he's got, this is good. I'm dying to see what she has to say here because we are in an era where we have everything, everything. And by the way, all of it was created by men. Every bit of it. Your microwave, your car, the lights, the heat, the air conditioning. I mean, I could go on and on. Your dishwasher, your washing machine, the dish soap you use, the, I, your clothes, your this, your that, your heels, your makeup. It's all made by men <laughs> that were inspired by women, actually. Hello? Kind of like that. What How else? Do you feel drained when you are already given so much? I'll tell you what, because you guys go to work and then you come home. Maybe you have uh, the bigger chores like uh, mowing the lawn and shit, maybe like every two weeks. And all the work that we did at right. work. I, sa I said you went to your job and you come back. But like I said, it's one job, one job. 
Can you, I want you to imagine, what if I told you today, I want you to be a chef on top of this job you're doing, but you're going to have to go to houses before and after that job. Okay. No weekends, no holidays off. Boom. You're not even, hold on, let me finish. Here, this is what they say in the books is that when somebody tries to explain it to you, you guys automatically get upset because it it attacks the ego. Try not to. You're you're minimizing how you're not, you're not, you're not seeing the whole picture. It's Mm -hmm. like trying to talk. Talk to right. a ghost. Can, can, oh, can I can I say something? Wait, wait, wait. I, we get See, first. Anytime I think she's confusing being a housewife with running a bar. You know, she's running over here, running the bar, doing this, going up, put you know, prop up your boobs, do this, do that, go into the VIP, go into the bathroom, do whatever you're doing there, get your little thousand dollars. You know what I'm saying? Only fans film this, but I mean it's a hard life. A woman tries to fucking tell you guys what the issue is. You always don't see oh, it, and you yeah. always want to change the subject. I was going to comment ahead. on this. Go ahead, I'm triggered. Wait, wait. Uh, I want to get so finish you don't. She's right about one thing. She's triggered. Right. Sean, I'm done. Sean, Sean <laughs> go ahead. Second. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. All okay, let's see if she actually lets him speak. Go one ahead. Second. Go ahead. Go ahead. All uh, okay. So, so the way it, it, it's a it's a communication problem. Okay, no, it's we're a not understanding. At this point, you think, I've listened to all of y'all. I know it's a community. What is it with her? She's eating. Now she's eating. The last time she was drinking a Starbucks thing, sipping it through the microphone. I, I guess it's her ASMR thing. Talk. Actually, she was talking about men watching women eat Twinkies. I mean, now she's eating a salad with chopsticks. I mean, who does this on a podcast? You're just like busting out a cheap salad from some local dump with mice in the back and just like, it looks like old weathered salad. You're just eating it on camera. Uh, nobody wants to see this. <laughs> maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe people are super chatting her to actually eat on camera. And if she's not doing this, she's putting on makeup. Education <laughs> problem, because we're not, we're not, not understanding really. where it's coming from. It doesn't matter. This isn't helpful. Wait, what? No, no but because uh, men's, uh, it I'm comes sorry. from men's needs. Men know where theirs come from. I get it. I understood that part, but I'm just saying there's the only way I can get you guys to sit, like to really understand it is to just take my word for it and try to observe your lives. That, try not that, to see me as a feminist. Think of me as somebody um, that's honestly trying to get you guys to yeah, solve I'm, the I'm issue yourselves. I'm not okay. saying go to therapy. But just I, try to think about I just it. Hard, find it difficult to understand okay. that you act like doing a handful of chores is more work than mm-hmm. a job that generates one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. So you're not assuming the right that the woman from. also has the job because remember they need three incomes, right? So they're not just working in the fucking home. Number one. Well, let's number get two, women out of the workforce. But, well, okay. that's that's a really nice idea, but it's still slavery to women, honestly, because men can't see what the fuck I'm even saying. She's a feminist. She wants to work. Isn't that what feminists want? They want to be independent. They want to have their own jobs. They, they, you know, they don't want to be a caretaker and a housewife and be proper. They want to, you know, talk like trash, eat like trash, look like trash and go to work like trash at a dive bar as a faux psychologist (laughs) advising people. (laughs) This is funny. So I want you to imagine that like the, one of the biggest pet peeves is that men are like, you would have to do chores beforehand. And it's like, mm-hmm. dude, you would have had to work without a bitch. What's your fucking point, dude? You're but literally we're not complaining and you I'll, are. So what the okay, hell? Women aren't are. fucking with y'all. You are complaining. Stop putting it on us. We don't care. I mean, not, You're no, the one. Not every man is complaining. No, 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 no. Hold on. This is not good. every this man is, is complaining. Not every uh, man is complaining. Uh, okay. Sure, it's not all men. I'm like fucking, I hate that shit. You guys hate when women do it too. It's like it's the no, no, no. I so understand annoying. what you're saying about dreaming or or what okay. you feel is unsatisfied. Uh, say that again, Sean. You're 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 saying that there's some need that's going unsatisfied yes. and that you're feeling drained. Mm-hmm. I yeah, want you to imagine what? You, you were with a woman that like didn't fuck you, didn't have the house clean, didn't have meal for you. Like she was just a bum at the house. Like she didn't even fucking work. She just used your money, whatever. And mm-hmm. she got fat. She got really fat. And the kids are fat. Like it's bad. Okay. And then 
Is she fat too in this scenario? Or just oh, she's huge. She's okay. fucking huge, dude. And you meet this hot ass blonde at work. Okay. Banging body fucking 24 peak. Right. Okay. She's talking about herself. So she was working and met some guy that had an overweight wife and was unhappy at home. <laughs> So see, she's a mistress too. I mean, first of all, her describing these married women with children in relationships with husbands is bizarre because she's not married. She's not engaged to be married. She's not in a relationship. She's not any of these things. So how is she advising men on something that she's never experienced in her life? <laughs> kind of weird. Your woman is miserable. Every time you go home, she nags you, whatever. If you guys got divorced, it wouldn't even be that big of a deal. You just haven't divorced her yet. I want you to uh, imagine somebody said, you can never divorce this woman. You need to be chained to this fat bitch. And all the girls that you can like get a taste of, like you, you know, they're in your peripheral. You can't have them, even though they want you. You can't mm -hmm. go to them. So do you see how that's like, well, why the fuck can't I? I, I should go. I should be able to divorce. This, is, this is what I was saying before about the prisoner's dilemma. It really seems to boil down to uh, do you remain loyal or do you no. betray no. your partner? This is good, though. This you guys think that it has your I, definition of loyalty is different because your definition of love is similar to mother caretaker role. You cannot fathom you women leaving because that technically goes against loyalty. That's one of the reasons yeah, men are not really doing what you're supposed to do. And everybody knows. Uh, no, but you are not entitled to love. You are not entitled to a woman, right? Do you understand that? Or not really? Well, I, I understand where you're coming from with that, but mm -hmm. I will also back that up with uh you're not entitled to have the There you go. You, you always you gotta provide. flip it to the fucking woman. Can you ever be like, you know what? You're right. Love God, she never shuts up. <laughs> she doesn't let anybody finish a thought. I already need Motrin. Let me empathize with that because that is a hard struggle that women go through. And but how is we... anything any better because of that? Would you rather have a doctor who because ignores you when you're getting are tested? telling you what they fucking need. That's it. So, so we've answered okay, the question, right. which is what I was getting to before. But you guys aren't doing it. You say it doesn't exist and you don't pick up any of the other duties in the fucking home. You guys like literally drain women. No offense. Okay. I'm telling you what they say. Okay. I'm not married. You well, know, so... so she just said, first of all, this, this girl is troubled. She's psychotic. <laughs> okay. I can't even imagine dating this woman. She is literally scarred, scorned, psychotic, abused, something. Okay. Something is not right in her head. And she just goes on and on and on. And she talks in circles and none of it makes any sense. She can't connect anything. Do you notice that? It's like the brain isn't functioning. Maybe she did too much ecstasy in the club. That's what it is. She's popping mollies or whatever the hell it is. Don't conflate these things because I think that's how it becomes confusing. There's two things going on. The mm -hmm. one that seems to be more important in your thesis or, you know, excitement mm -hmm. is uh, the the emotional aspect, the, the emotional engagement, the emotional connection. And that no. men are no. such, so autistic it's that they're just <laughs> shoveling food in their mouths, mm -hmm. grinding away at work, mm -hmm. uh, you know, min maxing resource problems. And they're not, you know, that's what you're doing. That's exactly what you're doing. And it's not so much an emotional need. It's a human thing. So women are told that men can do this. This is the issue. Mm -hmm. Men can't. That's why you guys don't see an issue. That's why you're like, oh, here's a bitch being emotional. It, but I'm, tell yeah, it's but I'm telling you, it's the same thing that we're psychic. It's like, I'm oh, don't you know what we're all feeling? No, you have to use sure, words. Sure, but you, the difference is that you guys are getting your needs met. You've always gotten your needs met. You got them when women had to be in the home and you got mm -hmm. them when women, women Make the physical needs. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll put you my perspective with what you're trying to say. Okay. I I, I understand where you're coming from. All right. But I'm gonna tell you from my perspective. You're gonna tell me how it is, Maybe. right? Because you know how it is for a woman going. No. Ahead. I had to. I had to. Absolutely. I'm triggered. I and neither does she. She's never experienced any of these things. What is she talking about? She is so emotional. It's scary. It is scary. It's like no, no. It. It's not that I know how it is for a woman. Is that 
I think it depends on the upbringing of each fucking man, okay? I'll put it to you that way. It depends on the upbringing for each other man. You guys, that's a cop-out. That is you keeping women delusional by saying that men are different. She always gets mad. In the last one that we did, um, she was totally upset. She wouldn't let them get a word in edgewise either, but she kept saying, oh, you keep grouping and categorizing. She does it all the time. All men, all men, all men, all men, all men are narcissists. All men are this, all men are that. What is she talking about? My God, slow down the brain. Lord, she definitely needs a psychologist. Yes, ladies, don't because listen to that. I also think this keeping right. women delusional thing is a lot like Marxist false consciousness. I don't think that's a real thing either. No, I'm not. No, I get what you mean when you say that. That's not what I'm talking about. Okay. The women have been sold a lie like men have been sold a lie. That's why red pill exists for men, right? I'm telling women this is red pill for women. There's Mm -hmm. lies that you're told too, but you guys never tried to take a moment to think about them because y'all be selfish. Sorry, I had to. Well, that you want. I I, I want you to. Wait a minute. Is this what she's trying to do? She's creating a red pill for women. Is she going to write a book next? Hopefully, her chat bot is working like it was the last time because she needs help. And actually, going somewhere with it. It's that. Mm -hmm. you know, emotional connection. Stop Uh, calling it that because you guys are told that women are emotional and that you need to just be like, just there, there you pat her on the head. Stop it. Don't call it emotional. Call it necessities. It is necessities. Women need it in Maslow's hierarchy of fucking needs. Okay, I'm really mm-hmm. triggered. But it's high up in that list, right? Uh, fuck, it, fuck where it is, okay? It doesn't matter. You're at the low bottom, so your shit's only like there, but it's yeah, still we're, fucking we're hard because women yeah. got to get to the whole top. We got to do the whole thing. But y'all don't care because y'all just see us as something to okay, get your needs. You oh. like- what the heck is she talking about? What is she talking about? Somebody tell me in the comments what this woman is talking about. To but your own women level for granted. No men do it. The sneaky fuckers do. You guys would agree with me. Like white, uh, white, sorry, male feminists, the white knights. Mm-hmm. Like they are the ones that like well actually they kind of work to your favor they make you guys look like sexier right because it's like more attraction or whatever i don't know we're getting not i mean assuming mean? that men being assholes and self-centered is no, wait, no, right. Right. Great. they've always been the, yeah. the thing you're complaining about so right so, so they kind of work to men's advantage in a way it kind of because the white knight will take her out and not fuck her and so by the time she gets home she's like horny and wants to fuck you with like the ex or whatever that's like one red pill scenario but my my point is that everybody's being lied to it's just women are being lied to about something you guys cannot comprehend and women are being lied to about something or and i understand your shit but like women don't understand it because of the lies we're told it's like a double thing i don't know it's like double think honestly what lies what happened to this woman what happened to her (laughs) something has happened to her she is unhinged she is she's actually scary She's nuts. She's unhinged. She goes on and on and on and on with the same rhetoric over and over and over. And, and none of it makes sense. She can't connect anything. You guys are just screwed up then because you guys have been no. lied to a double whammy. No, it's not like double and worse. It's just that it's got a flip flop. So when you think you got it, you have to like go backwards and flip it. It's it's complicated, it's but it's not hard. Men because they think they had it, but they don't, they don't, some men don't get it until like, some men have to go to trauma to get it. Like some women have to go to the trauma to also get it. I just don't know what, like I'm trying to say is I don't know exactly what the fix is. I don't think anybody knows. I do know that women would have to be more educated and that is meant to fucking trick. Uh, sh- educated? Yeah, you might want to work on that, Torsha. You might want to work on that, okay? I hear y'all, so I, like, don't want to say that. But women, like, I would have, in a grandiose sense, like, teaching women the shit that they're lied to. Like, they need to learn that. You know what I'm saying? But, like, you guys don't want women to excel anymore because you're like, hey, hold up. Those Scarcity. Are two, those are two different things, though. Uh, but but it, it, ha- it's having like your micro, emotional micro. needs met and professional. What's an emotional need, Sean? Define it. Like in your your way, it doesn't have to be exact. I just want to see how guys think of it. Uh, like you guys have more of a physical need. Like fucking is like your main one, and no, emotional no. is ours. 
Um, I'm trying to. I'm trying oh to make sure I get it right the first time and, and get it in a way that, that gets across clearly and concisely. Mm-hmm. Um, I, it comes from a place of loyalty rather than from a, I, your version seems like it's more like a place of being heard or being seen for men. It's a place mm-hmm. of, um, you know, Hey, if I do right by you, you're not going to leave me hanging, are you? You're but gonna... you guys, you guys get the benefit of the doubt is the issue. It's like you guys don't want her to leave because then all your needs are met. So as long as she stays, you're fucking good. And the mm-hmm. thing is, like, you guys see that I don't think anybody wants her to stay ever. You see women um, as like a life force because like men are men are not I don't want to say whole but it's like men need to have somebody to latch on to women don't need anybody I know that's triggering don't get mad just don't get mad what is she talking about women don't need anybody women don't need anybody women need men and men need women women need men to survive do you understand that women need men to survive that's how earth works Think about it. Every single thing that a woman needs is created or taken care of by a man. Your car. Are you fixing your engine, Dorsha? Are you doing your oil change? When you get a flat tire, are you changing it? I highly doubt it. Every single thing we use, your curling iron, your flat iron, your makeup, again, men created all of it. And women just are not equipped to do certain things. Women have a place, men have a place, okay? Women are nurturers. We're supposed to be taking care of children, be, you know, educating, teaching, kindness, blah, blah, blah. What is she talking about? If if all, if you know something, think about it like this. If every man on earth just disappeared, okay? And it was only women left, what would happen? How would the George Washington Bridge get fixed? Women are going to do it. The Lincoln Tunnel. How's that getting fixed? Women are going to do it. When a hurricane comes uh, or or the next tsunami, women are cleaning that up and rebuilding cities. This girl is a bird brain. She just has an ability to keep talking about nothing. (laughs) That's all she does. And she's not even good at that. I, don't think, I just don't think it's true. I think that's you're fine. You that. don't believe anything a that's woman says because historically you've been taught that women are inferior, women are one way, and now you figured out they're not. Okay. I just okay. Okay. Well, I, I think it's subjective to say. because it's not that women are inferior. Women do different things from men. Can men have babies? I'm sorry. No, they can't. All right. I don't care what anyone says. No, a biological male is not giving birth. Okay. There are things men cannot do, which is why they need women. There are things women cannot do, which is why we need men. Again, Torsha, when the tornado hits, are you going to clean it up and rebuild the city with all of your feminist acquaintances? I think not. Men can assess mm-hmm. objective reality. Women always need to do it contextually mm-hmm. based on social situations. That's why no, you're going back men to, oh, it's because I'm a woman. No, or, because or men gaslight mm. and they cannot put anyone's needs above their own. This is what actually is happening. And you guys need to stop with the reality. I cannot take it. This girl drives me insane. What is she talking about? What is she talking about? Men do not put anyone's needs above their own. Everything a man does is for a woman, basically. Every single thing. Do you know how powerful women are? This is what makes her so stupid. If you really think about it, who holds all the power? Us. Okay? Men actually get the short end of the stick. They got to do all the heavy lifting, all the hard work, blah, 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 blah. Get it? And why do they do it? It's all inspired by Women, this microphone was invented by a man, which allows me to sit here getting a headache from her. Motrin was created by a man, 
which I'm going to need as soon as this is done. Women operate in reality. Men are ego driven. So anything that a woman says that hurts your ego, you got to make up another explanation for it. So you create the, hold on, just hear me out. Just hear me out. I'm telling you the fucking truth. You guys create these circles. And what, what is actually happening is when you say that women aren't operating in reality, what you're translating is that I'm fucking wrong. You're right because you're a male and you're objective. I'm telling you, you're the emotional one and you've been lied to, but we can't get through. We cannot progress unless you see that. But the fact is men won't. That's the truth. They won't. They're just always going to be like, no, she's got to be fucking wrong. I don't blame you either. I probably wouldn't believe my ass if I was a dude. Right and wrong is an objective thing. It's not about the person. Can you put a woman's needs before your own without getting anything in return? Well, yes. Why? Name them. What are women's needs? You guys can't do it. It fucking pisses. You're not listening. This conversation is over. Why do you feel entitled? Don't tell me feel. I'm not entitled. We're not getting anything from you. You're you're flipping it again. Do you see how? Maybe you'll see it if you watch it back. You 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 repeating the big lie of we don't get anything from you is not. I'm cool. Hold on. Hold on. I'm trying to analyze what you're saying about emotional needs. Okay. I'm trying to make a list. But But I'm saying that women don't need men. And right now, when women are married to men, they're losing. Now, marriage benefits you guys. It doesn't benefit women. Don't like- oh, right. she's delusional. She is delusional. How? I just don't understand the relation between this girl and Rolo Tomasi. I don't get it. I really don't. He's actually brilliant. I mean, does she hear anything he says? I don't understand it. She makes zero sense. How is it that men do not put their, I I, I don't get it. Everything a man does is for a woman. Everything. She's sitting here doing a podcast because a man invented all this equipment that she's using. What What is she talking about? Women make out 10 times more than a man. Food and I love men. And I love food. men. I'm not saying that you guys are like she loves men. Uh, I find that hard to believe. Invaluable, and we should just throw you off, off in the ocean and girl world. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that my needs, everything that I need, I don't need to get it from you. You have to get it from me, though. That's the difference between keep, men and women. You keep repeating that, and it doesn't make. It I sense. want it to click for you. Maybe it will. And just, just repeating the same thing is not a convincing argument. I, this is That's okay. Funny. If you think this is a debate, like all the women that complain about the men, they well, always want to fight. To prove you're right. You're wrong. I'm not trying right. to be right. I'm trying to get you to see my side. <laughs> I There's don't only care one I'm, side, and that's a but you guys power. won't entertain it. You say that, but you won't entertain the woman's side. You never have. Because there Sorry, is no yelling. woman's side. I mean, as a bandit, can you can you yourself? Sorry, go ahead. Um, because the there's only side. one side. You think that you know? But you men have torture. never operated into the woman's side, is what I'm saying, and I'm telling you to just try. That's it. I'm not saying you have to be a fucking beta male. Just understand what women are giving up for you guys, because right now you're entitled and ungrateful. And quite honestly, I don't blame if women don't want to be with most men right now. I'm not saying that I think it's better for society. I think people should get together. I'm just saying that until I wonder how long she could hold her breath underwater. Seriously, that might be a skill for her. You know, I, I mean, look, I still believe that Her best option here is a show like Drink Champs. Get a bunch of dudes, throw back shots, get drunk, talk about nothing. Get it? Everybody's high, drunk. Get it? Yeah. This, her trying to be an intellect, I'm going to go with no. (laughs) You know what she is? She's a slag. A slag. Okay, it's a British term for a loose woman. The only difference is, is that her brain is also loosed, not just everything else. She's loose everywhere. Okay. Somebody needs to tighten up the screws. And the ungrateful. Shit. And then you also think, well, I don't really need men for resources. Well, you called me delusional, crazy, and emotional. So like, well, it's fine. We're just name calling. Maybe we should stop. No, Go I, ahead. I, I, 
I'm, I'm genuinely trying to reach across the aisle and get to some kind of common understanding. But you're making... Sean, I think that's an impossible task, but good luck. You're doing good trying. I'm still trying to think of what he means about not, emotion. And I needs. just don't think, like, respectfully, like, love men, but I just don't think with all the shit that we've been brainwashed with, both sexes, I just don't think I can reach you. I think it's like a lost cause. So I don't know how to operate from here. I genuinely don't. First of all, reach them with what? No common sense? The, uh, bird brain. Bird brain. My God. I'm not even, it's just, it's kind of like, like sub, uh, fucking Yuri. You remember that shit? The four elements, you know, the fucking, what is Yuri it? In, in the ideological yes. subversion thing. Yeah. Okay. You know, when it's like, when you try to tell somebody after they they've been indoctrinated, yeah. it's literally that, like it's that on both how sides. How is that not false consciousness? I think we're both <laughs> fucked is what I'm saying. Cause I think it's on both sides. I just kind of get it because I've been like in red pill for like three years, but I don't think I get it entirely. Okay, is what I'm saying. Let me put an example. Three years too long. Example of an emotional need. Okay. I'm trying to, I'm trying mm -hmm. to put an example of what you mean by emotional need. Okay. Let's say you came f back from work, right? Mm -hmm. You're at home. Let's say, okay. You say you're working too, right? And I'm working. I come to the house before you mm -hmm. and you're, I, and I know that you're about to come to mm -hmm. the house, right? So, I understand. So, an emotion is an emotion in need for you will be like, I hope he has something ready for me without me telling him what to do when I get to the house. Like, that hopefully, gives me there so is much some hope. I love man without me telling him, without, yes. without me telling him that, hey, I'm fucking hungry. Hopefully, you have something for me. Is that an emotional need for you? And I'm telling you from experience because I've had mm -hmm. to do that when I was fucking married. Okay, like, I was like, well, okay, hold up. Let me, I know she's going to want something from the store. Let me get it for her because I don't want her to nag me when I get home. Like you didn't Wait, give I me any. I think I have a good that, way to explain to me, it. Yes, you're on. We'll I have, be, I have we'll an idea. A little bit of what it, an emotion to need to. Hold on, hold on. Women in marriages right now feel Am like, uh, uh, hold on. yes, but women in marriages right now feel like the ugly men at the bottom of the dating pool that nobody sees. That's how they feel, but they're, they're doing whatever they can to give the guy everything they want, but the guy can't, they can't understand, like, is, we're just different, but yes, you're on it. Like to just get it, what Rolo talks about hundred percent. But the thing is, I don't think you guys can get it in the way that women want you to get it is what I'm saying. You know, something, this girl has never had anyone really sincerely care about her. Every relationship. God only knows how many men she slept with. Um, none of them cared about her. None. Not one. Zero. Zero point zero. How could you ever be in a relationship and the man doesn't do anything beautiful or nice for you? Surprise you with flowers. Simple thing like that. It happens all the time. <laughs> all the time. Are you kidding me? Uh, my father is constantly doing things for my mom. I don't understand. This girl, this is what happens when you're a slag, okay? This is what happens when you're a dive bar psychologist who has a lifetime uh, of walking down the uh, early morning walk of shame. Like I said, this is what happens. This is what happens. Sorry. This is, this is where you end up. These are, the, these are choices that she made. She chose to work in a bar, be around men that look as her, at her as an object, you know, uh, passing out liquor. I mean, think about it. You're passing out liquor for tips and doing God knows what else. You probably have an OnlyFans account, right? You're in random hotel rooms with Rolo Tomasi. Yeah, I did see it, okay? I'm not even going to go there because I res have respect for his wife and I'm not even going to speak of that. But let's get real here, Torsha, okay? You're not the kind of woman or lady that any man wants, not even the men that you have no interest in, period. You have no respect for yourself. Walk of shame. You're doing it every single day, morning, noon, and night. 
Anybody that's putting makeup on their chest on camera, live streaming, making pancakes and eating salads and drinking Starbucks and ASMR and all of this crap. I mean, you are a prostitute. You are a legal prostitute. Prostitute, prostitute, prostitute. Hello? You cannot sit here being a dive bar psychologist and think that you are nothing more and be, and be a prostitute. You understand? You can't, you can't, you're a dive bar psychologist and you're barely good at that. I think it's fake. <laughs> it's confusing me. I'm just trying to I, okay. understand what you're It's not is. really about to be fake. Well, like, what she means is that different. she wants to be, she wants you to like, uh, not to. What she wants is to go back to when she was like 10, okay? Never have sex at 12, never do all the things that she did. You understand what I'm saying? She wants to go back and relive her life and make all the right decisions instead of all the wrong decisions. Get it? That's what she wants. That's why she's bitter. That's why she acts like this. That's why she's so emotional. And that's why every time she talks about this, she's referencing herself. The poor girl is scorned. Shame on her parents, most likely. I, I can't state that for a fact. There are some good parents that raise terrible women. Be told certain situations when to do something for her. Oh, because I understand, you, okay, you, most of the time, women, huh? You can go I, ahead, go ahead. I was going to say, like, like, you asking, like, should we have something ready for them, like, at home and whatever? And the thing is that we want you to to not have to think about it. Like, we want you to do that as if, like, both partners have to do it. And forget about what she's saying, because it's going in one ear and out the other right now. I, I just had a thought. What is going to happen to her when her looks start to fade? That's scary. <laughs> what is going to happen to her when her looks start to fade? Think about what I'm saying here. She has nothing to offer. Nothing. She's going to end up like Sharon Stone in a... Uh, Casino. Sharon Stone at least had street smarts. She knew how to work a, you know, casino and all that stuff. Get it? She can't even do that. You can't even be a good prostitute. You're not even good at it. This is nuts. Switch off. Like they want it to be, um, I'm going to yeah, help you, you out you and you help me out. Expected at home. Like, they, want, they want it to be. Yeah, 50, like you 50. want it to be already expected. Like, they want it to be second okay, nature. Yeah, they so don't you, want you to you, have you, to you think about it. it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for the super chat. Keep your girl off OnlyFans one chat. Okay, at time. the ones that have. Then why are all women regretting the their decision to, to divorce? They are not. Hold on, sorry. I'm just answering the super chat. Then why are all women okay. regretting oh, their decision ahead. to divorce? They're not regretting it. The stats are. Of course they are regretting it because once you leave the man, you realize that you can't keep up. That's why all these women that are divorced have to go get jobs. And now you really understand what it's like to have to do this, do that, do this, do that, put your kids, through. okay? Yeah, get it? We're showing that women are happy, single and childless. I know, but men are happy, happier married. So it's like women could be happy married, but they're not getting a need met. That's why I'm saying that I think the onus may be on men. Okay. Okay, first of all, first of all, how would she know anything about married women, whether they're happy? How do you know this? <laughs> I mean, are you some sort of like genius researcher, like some, you know, uh, psychological, like uh, what, who are you? Where does she get this information? She's never been any of these things. She's never even had the opportunity to be in a marriage because no one's probably proposed to her. And for obvious reasons, right? This is why she's single and pretending to be happy. She's talking about women being happy or single. Meanwhile, she is the most miserable, miserable, bitter Nelly nagging. I've never seen a woman have the ability to nag men that she's not even in a relationship with. <laughs> Think about this. She nags men that she's not even dating. Can you imagine what it's like to date her? Drew, you better send me some Motrin. All right, on that note, Torsha, Torsha, Torsha. Another episode of Torsha on her early morning walks of shame. 
another dive bar, psychologist rant. <laughs> laughable, laughable. I hope you guys liked this episode of OnlyFans on Trial featuring the one and only Torsha. See you next time.